Okay, I'm working the first molar, and that was abscessing, and I cleared out the abscess largely. Now what I'm trying to do is clean out the tooth in general. Go right up to the bone and then put that tooth on the path to recovery. So I'm being very careful and I'm trying to remove all the little pieces that are there as gently as I can and then using the sickle. That tooth is in deep trouble. It just goes deeper and deeper with more and more stuff. But I'm getting a lot of stuff out, so who knows? That tooth is in some deep, deep doo-doo. I could spend the whole night if I have to just on that tooth. As a matter of fact, that's probably what I'm going to do. And then I have to hopefully not trash the nerve while I'm doing it. Yeah, see? large volume gigantic blobs see every one of these blobs that comes out is something that's not there anymore so going in there right up against the bone and then there's calculus that's butt up against there and it's probably from the abscess the abscess probably pushed in and pushed the bone in is probably what happened Here, let's just check these out. This is the most recent one. There's roughly about six pretty good sized blobs plus two that are pretty gigantic. If you look at the model, this is the uppers. You can see that the molar right there is flat. So this is a very tedious process. I'm working from the back. When I find the stuff, literally, it just starts to bleed. So I don't have to do that much thinking. And then I take the point and I try to loosen it with the point. And other than that, I'm scraping it smooth. There's the one on the back I have to get along the side. Then I go in deep along the bone. Let's see if I can get this one on the back. Let's go in reverse. Okay. I find the reverse very awkward. Let's see if I can come from the back, around the corner. This part's pretty important too. Not that, it's in the back. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, again I'm going to sweep from the back to the forward, go along the bone, look for these things and just get them to come loose. Okay, looks like I got some of it. Let's go for the more deeper stuff now. There. Huh. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. <laughs> oh my god. Good for you. This goes to show you. Let's check this out. This is pretty incredible. So I took the sickle right here. I worked it sort of along the, the bone where it goes in real deep. Looks like the abscess pushed in. I got 
a massive, look at that thing. This massive thing of crud came out. I don't, I don't know how many pieces that is, but whatever it is, it's massive. My point is that I was trying to loosen this thing without using a lot of force. So I was able to do that. So all that stuff is not inside my teeth anymore. So this whole procedure of going very gently can eventually get the area clean. Hmm, it's just that's too much. What is this thing anyway? This is too bizarre for words. Okay, let's check it out. This is probably mostly clotted blood. But even then, that's that's still okay. Once the abscess starts to go, then the blood goes in there to wash away the infection. So the blood combines with the infection, and then out it goes. So the, the blood cleanses the area.